Restaurants are sometimes overlooked at how important we are as, as real foundational elements of community philanthropy. I feel like he's always at the front line um, rallying troops to, to go help people, whether they were devastated by a flood. He sort of enlisted friends to go down and provide dinners or lunches for folks or, you know, help push a charge to make change in the community. The fact that they gave him the Good Neighbor Award is the exact award that he deserves because every time somebody asks him for help, he's always there. Taste Bud started uh, back in, uh, I think it was back in 1991, and uh, my partners Gary Darlin and Hans Lindbergh, uh, the three of us were uh, just getting together providing food for these folks who had come together and it was uh, tied into a charity and then said, hey, this was a lot of fun and we ought to do this for ourselves, do this for a living. Well, we started uh, the Three Chefs uh, One Mission uh, right after uh, the tornadoes hit Tuscaloosa. And uh, yeah, even though Katrina was six or so years ago, it, it's still very much in our, in our minds and in our, our memory. And we said that, you know, we know what these people are going through and let's, uh, let's bring them a little bit of Louisiana love. We're meeting people at the worst time of their lives, but we're bringing them something. It was, uh, once again, remarkable to see a group of people that he was able to pull together uh, and go to Joplin and give them a, you know, a, a part of humanity and life that they needed, help them regain some of that self-respect and hope. You know, Michael Bordelon, a guy that owns Lyuzas here in New Orleans, uh, was, you know, in a car accident where he was hit by a drunk driver. You know, Greg comes up to uh, our group of uh, restaurateurs and say, hey guys, I've got an idea, Lyuza Palooza. You know, what do you do when the, the going gets tough? Well, you, you're calling your buds, you know, and, and the taste buds call on their buds. Everybody kind of came together. We put together, through Greg's leadership, an event called Gleason Graw. After Katrina, everybody saw what happened to the Superdome. Right after that, everybody saw when Steve Gleason blocked that punt against the Atlanta Falcons. It just ignited this city like nothing else. Steve had the misfortune of getting ALS. Well, Greg says, Let's give Steve something back. And he took that project uh, at the helm. And you can tell the passion coming out of, of someone when you really truly believe in what you're doing. Well, I know that Greg, whenever he calls, that he, we're going to go do something for uh, the good of the community. Food has a way of healing these folks and, and, and lift their spirits and help them forget maybe for, for half an hour, an hour, maybe a day if we're lucky. Uh, let them know that there's people out there that. You know, they know what you're going through and we've been there and it'll get better.